Hello everyone, this is Ripper, and today we are playing some Chivalry Medieval Warfare, but we're not actually going to play... I'm going to show you guys something different. Uh, this is a tactics, but I'm not actually, actually going to show you in-game tactics. Um, a lot of you may have the issue, some of you it may not even be an issue, of a capped frame rate. Hopefully you guys can see that counter there. Now I know I'm just in the menu, but this frame rate will extend to the whole game. And I don't know about you guys, but I cannot play when it is limited to 60. Because if I have any kind of frame drop, it will tilt. Just full on go to like 40 or 50. And that is ugly. It's bad. And things like disabling VSync doesn't help for shit. Because you have to change some things in the game's INI files. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. Hopefully this is helpful. I know this is not my usual tactics. This is probably the only kind of unusual tactics I'm going to be doing, but it's very useful. So, in we go. And we're back. So, we're going to need to get into the files of the game to do this fix. Now, if you guys want a text tutorial on how to do this, I've linked it in the description. This is actually what I've been using forever and ever to do this. And, uh, but it, it always helps me to have a video to go back to. Alright, so I have opened a file browser, and I've got some peaceful chivalry music going on in the background. Go to your computer. You have to go to My Documents, so I'm just gonna go to Users, My Shit, and ignore all the other bullshit, you wanna go to My Documents. And then My Games. And of course, Chivalry, UDK Game, and then Config. And in here you'll find a file called udkengine.ini. Alrighty, and here that bad boy is. And we're going to control F to find frame rate. And we found it. So we're gonna wanna change this line right here to uh, what it is currently. It's actually uh, perfectly fine. If yours says false, you'll want to make it true. I think this is something they actually changed recent updates. However, these two, these are the important thing. You need to change minimum smooth frame rate to zero. Uh, I actually have found that you don't usually need to change this to zero, but uh, just for the sake of this, I'll do it. And max smooth frame rate to whatever you want it to be. This is the maximum frame rate it's going to sort of lock at. I usually change this to 120. If you've got a 144 hertz monitor, I'd recommend 144. Although I think there might be a more complicated... Uh, process to actually get it to 144. I may be incorrect, though. And that should be everything that needs to be done. Remember to save. Always remember to save. And uh, that is really, that's really as simple as it should be. And we're going to go back into the game and see how it looks. Well, guys, it seems like it worked because we are getting a solid 120 FPS. That's all there is to it, folks. And this is some smooth-ass gameplay. And in fact, since this was only ended up being a three-minute video, I'm going to actually play some gameplay with the frame rate in the background. Because why the hell not? I don't think I've ever done that. You guys get to see what kind of frames, frames I've got. Also... I'll get to show you guys my settings again. So, this is what my visual settings look like. The reason I'm making this video, you guys, you might be wondering, why the hell are you doing this after so long? Because whenever Chivalry updates, which isn't all that often, to be honest, it likes to reset all of my video settings, video settings, as well as reinstall the INI files, which resets this crap, and I can't handle that. So, these are my visual settings. Uh, I usually don't have depth of field on because I hate it. I don't have that on. I hate motion blur. I've got my FOV at 130 usually, but it likes to reset that a lot. These two, I just leave at default. I don't really care. I actually, usually I knock these down a tink because my CPU is not what it used to be. But beyond that, all of this shit is good to go. This actually might need to be lower, but that's fine. Everything is fine. So let's go ahead and find ourselves a game. Remember to reset your filters, folks. Uh, because Torn Banner just loves throwing a wrench in everything. I actually have not played Arilla in a long time. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. All right, so Arilla is actually going to rape my frame rate, but it'll be a good example, good proof of concept. I've been playing around with Vanguard a lot these days. A whole heck of a lot. Well... That chivalry chat. All right, so you may, when you enter a game, it may start very low, but as you can see, it's it's slowly but surely going up. 
uh, and, and down again. Like I said, Irilla will wreck your frame rate if you're not careful. Oh, shit. All right. Headset slightly. Oh, also, don't forget to change your FOV if you have a really high one. Ow, you son of a bitch. Sorry. If you have a really high FOV, remember to go into your console and type it out. I get a lot of questions on how to change my FOV to 130. That's all there is to it. Bam. It's easy. Easy peasy. Alright. So, let's get this shit moving. As you can see, the frame rate is fluctuating a lot, but it is staying above 60, and that's what I want. If my frame rate were locked to 60, and it fluctuated... I would, uh, die horribly. Maybe I'll use a knight? Nah, yeah. Ah, shit. Also, all of my crap reset. Whatever. That's fine. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so those frame drops that you're seeing down to, like, 65 and 60 would be 60 going down to 55 and 50, which is bad. We're about to lose horribly. Why aren't we trying, you guys? This is sad. Let's go. Come on. We can still win this. Can we still win this? I don't actually know. I don't think so. I don't know if we gain time when we hit the wall. If we do, we might actually have this. Now I'm actually playing the game, you guys. I'm, I'm, I've got totally sidetracked. Yeah, just just look at that. Look at that FPS in the corner. Uh, ideally, I would have something that would show my GPU usage, but you guys can trust me. My GP. This game actually kind of wrecks my 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 GPU and CPU because it's just not optimized properly. Ow, bastard, rat, fucking bastard. Oh well, that's. Really, all there is to it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Again, I know this is not my normal tactics, but when I got the update this morning and I opened the game and I realized I had 60 FPS, I thought, well, why the hell not make a video about it? Uh, leave your comments if you need any help with any of this. It should be pretty straightforward. Uh, remember, there's a written tutorial in the description. Any questions on my settings or anything, leave a comment. And as always, have a grand day, and I shall see you kind people next time.